Hello, this is Jeff at Magical Fruit Toots. This tutorial is for ordinary people who don't own Photoshop or other paid image editors and are interested in making a personalized word cloud art project for a gift or just fun. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a word cloud design about a specific person. The design will consist of words relating to that person wrapped around a picture of them. Here are some examples. Gift for team members at the end of a season. Here I tried to match the background and word colors to the team uniform. Gifts for Mother's Day or Father's Day. Grandparents would love to get one of these from a grandchild. Gift for students or teacher at the end of the year. I saw on the internet a teacher gave each student a list of class members. She asked them to write down one word describing each student on the list. She then made a word cloud for each student. The students loved it. Posters about famous persons or historical figures for school projects. This project uses free web apps that will work on just about any device. However, I recommend using a computer for its greater processing power. I will use wordclouds.com to make the word cloud. Wordclouds.com seems to be totally free and has many features, such as custom shapes that are required for this artwork. It works entirely over the internet, and as far as I know, it doesn't use Flash, which is a problem for some browsers. It also works on any modern browser, PC, Mac, tablet, or smartphone. WordClouds.com works with five different languages. Go to https colon slash slash www.wordclouds.com I will use Pixlr X to make the shape that WordClouds.com will wrap the words around and to edit and place the image into the final result. Pixlr X is a basic image editor and is free, but ads supported. It also will work on just about any computer or smart device and doesn't use Flash. Pixlr X works with 29 different languages. Go to https colon slash slash pixlr dot com slash x slash before you make the word cloud you should make a shape file that will allow a small circle oval or other shape appear in the center of the word cloud and force the words to wrap around it open pixlr x in your browser choose create new in the custom size box name it oval Make the width 800 and the height 618. That is the size you would use if your word cloud will be made in the size of 11 by 8.5 inches. WordClouds.com only allows a maximum of 800 pixels in the width or height of the shape picture. Click the background button, then click on the white color. Then a color picker will appear. Change the hex code on the bottom so it reads 000000. Then click Create. A totally black background layer will appear. Next we will add an oval shape layer. Click the Add Element tool, then click Shape. Then Geometric. Drag the slider down until you see the oval shape. Click it. A new layer will be created above the black layer. Note, you could select a square, rectangle, circle, star, or other shape in the geometric shapes area. To use a heart shape, choose Add Element, then Shape, then Heart. I chose the solid orange heart, which I used for the Mother's Day word cloud. 
back to the oval. Because the oval is on its side, you need to stand it up. Choose the Arrange tool. Press the Rotate Left icon once to make the oval vertical. The oval is centered, but you need to make it a little smaller. The width and height are 618 pixels. Change either the width or the height to half of 618 or 309. Since Lock Aspect is turned on, if you change either the width or the height, both will change to 309. Now drag the oval down to position it vertically. You will see a pink line appear when it is centered vertically. Now drag the oval to the left or right to center its position horizontally. You will see a pink line appear when it is centered horizontally. Keep repositioning the oval until both pink lines make a cross in the center of the oval. Look at the property numbers at the top of the Arrange tool. For this 11 by 8.5 size and oval shape, you can type in my parameters of top 155, left 246, width 309, and height 309, and avoid having to hand adjust the shape. However, if you use differently sized paper and other shapes such as heart, circle, star, etc., the numbers will vary, so you should follow this general procedure. You can experiment and make the oval larger or smaller, and everything should work. Keep in mind that the shape we are making is the shape of the area around the oval. So if you make the oval too big, you may not leave enough room to wrap words around it. Close the Arrange tool by clicking the X in its upper right hand corner. Choose the Add Element tool, Borders, then the squared shape near the bottom. Then the white outline square. Choose one with only a solid white color of even width around the square. A new layer will be automatically created above the current layer. On the top layer, Click the three dots and change the blend mode to alpha and make it unlocked and visible. Select the second layer, which is the oval, blend mode to alpha, and make sure it is also unlocked and visible. Finally, click the three dots on the top layer and click the merge visible icon. Now both the border and the oval are on the top layer. Click the three dots and change the blend mode to mask. You should now see a black background with only a transparent oval in the middle and a small transparent border. Choose Save from the bottom of the screen. Change the file name if you like. I used the name I originally assigned it, which was Oval. File type should be Ping with 800. Height 618. Choose Download when ready. The shapefile will download to your default downloads folder. Close the app. I've put together a 40 pack of shapefiles for each of the eight standard sizes. I made a shapefile with the oval, heart, star, circle, and square. If it's easier for you, you can buy this pack of 40 shape files for $4. See the link in the description area. Before starting work on the word cloud, it is a good idea to have a list of words or short phrases that you want to include in the design. Use a plain text editor to create a text file with your list of words. Mac users can use TextEdit. Windows users can use Notepad. If you have a Chromebook or are using a smart tablet or a smartphone, you can use EditPad or add a plain text app. Words or short phrases connected by tilde's are treated as one word. I also put tilde's between Lincoln School so that it became Lincoln Tilde School.
I put the tilde symbols in sixth grade, so it became sixth tilde grade. Dashes or hyphens appear as letters, so always dash smiling will appear as entered. Each line should have one word or phrase. Words that appear more frequently are made respectively larger in the word art. I repeated Isabella three times, so it will appear larger. Here is a table that will help you to decide on what size to enter into wordclouds.com. If you are using a shape template to add a picture in the middle, you already know what size you want for your final image to be printed at. For example, your desired print size is 11 by 8.5 inches. Following this tutorial, you used an 800 by 618 size for the shape file. Just use 800 by 618 for the size in wordclouds.com. Then when you are finished designing the word cloud, you could choose File, Save as Image HD. By choosing HD, wordclouds.com will increase the size fourfold. The size of the file saved will be 3200 by 2472, which should be sufficient for print quality. This table will also help you decide what size shape template you want to use for various standard sheet sizes. Open wordclouds.com in your browser. Unmaximize or restore down the screen so you can see things better. The first thing I always do is choose File, New Word Cloud. This clears things out so you can start with a clean, empty word cloud. Secondly, be sure to enter the size of the word cloud you want. Use the same size you used for the shape file you made earlier. In this case, we want an 11 by 8.5 word cloud picture. So we used 800 by 618. Choose Size, Custom, then type in 800 x 618 as demonstrated. Press OK. Notice that the current size appears in the bottom right hand corner of the word cloud. If you're not using a custom shape, you can refer to the green chart. Look for the standard print size you want. Then choose the custom shape size for that print size as your custom size. Third, you should enter the words and phrases. Choose File Open Text File. Then browse to the plain text file you created earlier. Choose it and open it. Next, you should upload the shape file. The way we constructed it, it really could be called an inverted shape file, as it is actually the area outside of the oval or heart or whatever. Choose Shape, Upload, then select Shape File. A window will open where you can browse to your shape file. Here I chose the oval shape file made earlier. If you turn on the mask button, which is really a show mask button, you will see how the mask is being applied. Turn on the mask. Notice that all the words are in the gray area and that the white oval and border are protected and not available for words. I like to turn off the show mask button to help me see the actual color of the background so I can match it better with the word colors. The mask is still working, you just can't see it. Balance option should be checked, which is the default. If it is not, it will have an X next to it. So click it once and it will turn on and show a check mark. I like to use the default zero for gap size. If words seem too close to each other, choosing a higher gap size will spread them more. Some of your longer words or phrases may not fit with higher gap sizes. Choose Gap Size and change to zero if necessary. I like to choose random for the direction of words. You could choose the randomer or randomist or any of the other direction options. 
now would be a good time to choose your direction option. Choose your font. In this tutorial, I have used the Pacifico script font for all the example word clouds. Choose whatever font you like. Some fonts are smaller than others and will change the shape of the designs. If you have a lot of long words or phrases, you may want to use a smaller font. This would be a good time to save your work, so you can take a break and come back to it later. Choose File, Save, type in a file name. I usually type in something like 6-22-1 as demonstrated to represent today's date and the first time I saved it. Choose the Theme button. As you are trying different themes, your overall design won't change. Only the background colors and word colors will. In the drop-down, themes with a dark color around them, use a dark background, and use word colors that look good with a black or dark background. Themes with no color visible around them have a white background and go well with the white or lighter colored background. For this project with a person picture, I think that themes with a light background will work best. I like the eighth theme down with the tan background and eight different colors. I also like the fourth theme from the bottom with a white background and five different colors. Let's use this theme. Not a lot of words in this example. So increase the font size to help fill the screen more. Press the big plus sign to the right of the big slider on top. Continue to press it until you get a word not drawn message. You can click on the message to find out what word is missing. Now try using the randomize button to see if you can fix it. After a bunch of tries, the message goes away and all words are shown. If you still don't like the design, continue randomizing. Eventually you should get one you like with no words omitted. I didn't like the last one, so I tried again. Ah, this one looks good. Time to save the word cloud again. Use File Save and name your save. The white background may work for you, especially if you are printing it yourself and want to save on expensive colored ink. However, you can modify the background color if you wish. I tested this design with various background colors and made a graphic including color hex codes for eight samples. I like the bottom right design best with the light blue green, which is hex color number A6FEEF. Choose the one you like best for this theme. Here is how you could change the background color. Choose the Colors tab. Under Background Color, click the word Hex. The Hex Colors panel opens. Type in hashtag A6FEEF -E or your color choice in the background area. Press Apply to save. If you are going to do any other word clouds with light backgrounds, you might want to note the eight hex color codes and test them for your background. Next, to save your image in HD, choose File, Save as Image, HD. Enter an image name. Make the file type PNG. Press Save. When the file finishes being created, press Download. 
then accept the download. To add the person picture to the image, use Pixlr X. Choose the Open Image option on the main Pixlr X screen. Then browse to the shape image on your computer. Select the image and accept it. Choose Properties Resize Image. Make sure Constraint Proportions is on. If you use the HD option when saving the file in WordCloud.com, change whichever dimension is 800 to 3200. Choose Apply. Zoom out using the Screen Sizing Control. Now you have the shapefile upsized, so it is the same size as the WordCloud file. Now unlock its layer. Press its three dots, then choose Unlocked. Now to load in the WordCloud image you created. Click the Add Image tool. Select Browse and browse to the WordCloud file on your computer. Click Open, then Add Current. Next, select the layer thumb of the image you just downloaded and drag it below the shape layer so it becomes the bottom layer. Now on the shape layer, top layer, click the three dots. Change the blend mode to mask. Unlocked and visible should be highlighted. Choose the double down arrow icon there to merge visible. The layer should now be merged into one layer. Click the three dots again and choose unlocked. You should see the word cloud with a transparent oval in the middle and a small transparent outline. If all looks right, we are ready to place our subject person. Choose the Add Image tool if you aren't already in it. Browse to your subject's photo. And open it. Choose Add Current. Now drag it below the Word Cloud layer. Go back up to the Word Cloud layer and lock it. We do this so we don't accidentally move the Word Cloud layer when we resize the person. Move to the Persons layer. Choose the Arrange tool. Change the screen view by pressing the minus to reduce the percentage size. Now use the bounding box handles to resize and reposition the picture to where it looks good. Close the Arrange tool. Next we will fill in the transparent outline with the background color of the word cloud. Choose the Properties tool. Click on the word Background. Click on the white color in the colors. Now click on the eyedropper to select a color. Move your cursor over the area of the image that should be the background color. Then click to sample that color. A new background will be created. Now the transparent outline will disappear and be filled with the background color you wanted. To save the finished image, press Save at the bottom of the screen. Make your file type PNG. Change the name of your picture. Press Download. Accept the download. Close. Then press Close again at the bottom of the screen. If you already haven't done so, Please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you will be informed whenever I publish a new tutorial. Thanks for watching. I have more word cloud tips and ideas. If you would like another word cloud tutorial, let me know in the comments.